After you've made sure that the permissions are correct on your settings.php file, you want to take another look at your status report, once again at reports, status report, and usually, once you've installed Drupal 8, if you scroll down, you will see this message as well, that your trusted host settings are not enabled. If we read the description here, the trusted host patterns settings is not configured. This can lead to security vulnerabilities, and it's highly recommended that we fix this. You can go to this link for more information. I'm not gonna get into depth as to exactly what this is because it's a little bit complicated to explain, but it's fairly straightforward to fix. If we go back to our file system, let's look at the root of our Drupal folder. We're gonna go back once again to sites, default, and now we do need to make settings.php writable, just temporarily. Let's edit this. And if we do a uh, control F or command F, depending on kind of computer you're using, if you do a word search for the word trusted, you'll find trusted host configuration. You need to find the example code right here these are the three lines between this at code line and the at end code. Highlight those three lines and copy them. Then scroll all the way down. And we're going to paste these at the bottom of this file. Once we do that, we need to get rid of these asterisks at the beginning of each line. It's best to get rid of the spaces as well. So just go right up to where the actual code starts delete the space asterisk space and then do the same thing preferably maintaining the indentations for each line and then what we need to do is change this pattern here to our own domain so for me I'm on OS training .us, so I need to change the .com as well and it's also best to copy this line and put it below here. And then use the same thing, but remove the www backslash dot. So it'll work for, it protects you against certain attacks that may use your domain with www and without the preceding www. Once you've done that, save your changes. If you get a permission denied message here, that's all right. We'll back out. And what that probably means is you need to give write permissions to the default directory as well. So you need to make sure that, as well as your settings.php file, have write permissions. And if you do that and then go back, you should be fine to save. Let's go back to our status report and if we refresh the page now, and now we see that our trusted host settings are enabled, making our site more secure against certain types of attacks.